Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And this book is going to sound a little familiar. So not so long ago, we read a book about a boy who wanted to take a pterodactyl to school. Do you remember that? Hmm, I think it was, can I bring my pterodactyl to school, Miss Johnson? You remember that. Well, now he's back, but today... He has a woolly mammoth, and this is called, Can I Bring My Woolly to the Library, Miss Reader? Can I Bring My Woolly to the Library, Miss Reader? He has a woolly mammoth, and he wants to take him to the library, and he's asking the librarian if he can. I don't know if we should allow a woolly mammoth in the library. They're really big and probably really loud, and a library is a place you have to be quiet. I don't know what's going to happen, but we need to get into this book and find out if that woolly mammoth gets into the library. Are you ready to get into this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up, because here we go. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Ms. Reader? Written by Lois G. Grambling, illustrated by Judy Love. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Ms. Reader? Can I, please? Look, he's at the door, and he has a giant woolly mammoth with him. If I brought Wooly to the library, he could finally get a library card. He could practice writing with Mr. Penn, you know, the new library volunteer. Sometimes Wooly mixes up his letters or makes them backwards, but with more practice, he could print his name on the library card application. And you could read it. Look, he finally did. He wrote Wooly at the bottom of the, of the application, but it looks like it took a lot of practices. With his library card, Wooly charge into his kids section and pick out mammoth-sized stack of books to read. And he'd be so happy. He'd let loose a long, loud bellow. Maybe that would be a good time for Wooly and me to go over the library rules. No bellowing in the library. Thank you, the library staff. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? <laughs> the boy's going to have to teach him that he has to be quiet in the library. If I brought Wooly to the library and that thumping noise he makes when he walks, because he weighs a ton, was too loud, I could buy Wooly a pair of extra large fuzzy slippers. That way he'd be as quiet as a butterfly landing on a buttercup. And maybe I could pick up slippers for those rowdy Bopsy twins too. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I please? Look, now there's a sign that says, no thumping in the library. Thank you. If I brought Wooly to the library and the returned books were piling up on your to-be-shelved cart, Wooly could shelve them for you. He knows his numbers and his ABCs, and he can reach the tall shelves with no problem. Can you imagine if he got stuck between the shelves? We could get him unstuck, but... Oh, what a mess. Uh-oh, he tried to get in between those shelves and they all fell down. And there goes all the books flying. Maybe we should leave the shelving to you, Miss Reader. But Wooly could sit at your desk, check books in and out. Then things would be back to normal. Um, almost. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? <laughs> he just seems like he tries hard, but he keeps making a mess. If I brought Wooly to the library and Cuddly Teddy wasn't in the reading corner because several of his seams had split open, probably from all the hugs he gets, and he was in the toy shop being repaired, Wooly could take his place. Wooly is very cuddly. Then the little kids would still have plenty of places to sit and someone who'd listen to them read aloud. Wooly loves listening to little kids read. Ms. Page in the Literary Literacy Services says being read to will help Wooly with his reading, too. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? Look, the kids are sitting all over him while they read their books. He likes listening to people read, just like you and me. If I brought Wooly to the library on Halloween for your annual storybook character costume party, we'd be a hit. I'd go as the big bad wolf, 
and Wooly Go as Little Red Wooly Hood. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Wooly should be the big bad wolf. Then you'd read us spooky stories. We'd all listen, Wooly too. Bug-eyed, terrified, and frozen with fear. It'd be the coolest story hour ever. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library and Mayor Pinchpenny came in with overdue books, which he usually does, and he complained loudly that he wasn't going to pay any fines because he'd renew his book by phone last week, but he hadn't. Wooly'd flip Mayor Penny Pincher upside down and shake him, gently of course, until enough coins had fallen from his pockets to pay his fine. Then Wooly would flip Mayor Pinchpenny right side up and continue reading his book. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? It seems like he'd be very helpful. If I brought Wooly to the library and it was your turn to drive the bookmobile to Littletown and you were worried about driving in the snow, Wooly could get you there safe and sound. Wooly grew up at the North Pole and doesn't worry about snow. But if you did slide into a snowbank, Wooly just hook his curvy tusks around the bookmobile's bumper and pull. You'd be back on the highway quick as a blink. And if you had to spend the night in the bookmobile, you'd get used to Wooly snoring. Snore, snore. I don't know if I'd get used to that. Uh-oh, Miss Reader. My mom's worried that if Wooly came to stay with us, he would get homesick like I did at camp last summer. Being so far from his home at the North Pole, he would miss his parents a lot and the snowy frozen weather too. So Wooly won't be coming to the library, but he has a friend who will be visiting family around here. Wooly's friend loves to curl up with a good book. So, can I bring Saber to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? How many animals does this boy have? They, would, they didn't let the woolly mammoth into the library. He was going to cause all kinds of trouble. And now he wants to bring a saber-toothed tiger in? How many animals can he have? And a saber-toothed tiger? I think I'd be a little afraid of a saber-toothed tiger. I wonder if they let him in the library. I don't think any animals should go into the library, especially big, giant, dinosaur-type animals. This was a silly book. This boy has a lot of animals. We're going to have to keep reading to find out if he has any more animals. But not tonight, because tonight it's time for all my little tigers to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, why don't you go to the library? That would be a fun way to spend the day. Get a book, maybe a book about a dinosaur or a woolly mammoth, but don't take your animals with you. And if you do have a woolly mammoth, leave him at home. He doesn't belong in the library. I belong in the library and you belong in the library, not your animals. So tomorrow, if you go to the library, make sure you get a really good book. And wherever you're at, whatever you do, Wherever you go, if you're with your mom or your dad or your teacher or your grandma or your grandpa, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.